Hey, welcome back to my channel. Insert applause. Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting video. So I look like I just woke up from a map. A map. I look like I just woke up from a nap, which is correct. I woke up from a nap. This is my makeup from earlier today. I decided to go ahead and leave it on at school. We just got a new night instructor and his name is Eric C. Duh. And if you know him on Instagram, you should. I will link his Instagram and everything below. I was like, I have an idea. I'm going to recreate one of your face charts. He's really well known for his face charts. Is it going up? Okay, there we go. And so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and recreate this one today. Focus, there we go. I'm gonna recreate that face chart today. So I was like, oh my gosh, let's collab and I will go ahead and recreate your face chart and see how I execute it. And I hope I don't butcher it. And I'm so sorry if I do, Eric. Let's finish up the face first. And just start really getting it on there. Also, I graduate on Tuesday, okay? I finished Thursday, I didn't, so I don't have, didn't have to go in Friday. And today's Saturday, I don't have to go in Monday. And then I graduate on Tuesday. So I will be certified to beat your face. I'm so excited just to have some more time to film and get my work and name out there and hopefully start working for a brand as well to get started you know but i have a lot oh my gosh <gasps> can we like zoom in on that i have such a huge zit oh my god it's so red oh my god i have something in my nose oh, i'm such a mess there's so many plans so many videos i want to film just so excited my birthday's on wednesday <laughs> i'm gonna be 22. i feel so old but I'm excited, you know? I feel like this is the year. This is my year, 2019. It's an odd number, so it kind of irks me, but it's okay. That was all with my Morphe M527. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Morphe M433 and just carve out my nose a little bit more. But yeah, my makeup definitely looks expired. We're gonna bring it back to life. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some, um, or Mercier underneath and pack it under there. Eric does amazing work and I could never, you know what, I'm not gonna say never, but pretty sure I cannot get a face chart to look like that. So very, very talented. Very, you know, I asked him, which one is your favorite face chart that you've done? And he said that one and I said, okay, I like that one too. Yeah, you can do that one. Just wanna give it a shot. All right, so we're baking away. Let's go ahead, let's do just a little bit more bronzer because I want this to be intense. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bake underneath this contour here just to chisel it out. So update on keto, it's going very well. I am obviously doing uh, before i did no carbs at all you know it, it is low carb diet but i wasn't doing any at all for the last time i did it and i just felt like i lost a lot of like unnecessary weight especially in the back area mm -hmm, don't want to do that so i am still having carbs low carbs like today i went to breakfast with my man and he's like so when are you starting keto and i was like uh -huh, right now as i was stuffing my face with potatoes but you know that was the only carbs i'm having today i had potatoes and like i picked at the wheat bread that they gave me as well and then i'm not gonna have any more carbs and i'm trying to like only oatmeal like that's been my only carb when i eat and i didn't have any oatmeal this morning i just had what i had for breakfast and hopefully tomorrow either no, no carbs or just the oatmeal in the morning before I go to the gym. So yeah, that's my update. It's going good so far though. Um, yeah, I tried a spinning bike and wow, the amount of calories you burn on those things is just 
remarkable. Let's go ahead and take a look at this eye. So for the pink liner in the crease, I don't have a very bright pink liner, so I am gonna use my Ben Nye Aqua Paints and kind of go for that pink color in there. I'm also gonna do the brows as well. The brows have the color in it. There's some white and that purple pinkish color, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna put Hello Mascara on the, my bottom lashes. I don't have bottom lashes I could put on. I don't think that would look too fantastic on me. And let's add the mole, shall we? Because why not? I'm going to brighten up the under part of my brow with my Morphe M421 brush. Mascara I have on today and what I've been using is the Milk Mascara and I really like it. So, copy one of those. All right, I'm gonna use the Venetian Red right there in the palette and just start packing that in the crease. Kind of just fan that upwards and blend it seamlessly. And then I'm gonna take this, sorry, my palette's a mess, but this dark maroon shade in the James Charles palette and pack that in the crease little more and I'm gonna take that dark purple in the palette and kind of focus out a little bit more on the outer corner of the crease but pack that in there as well and just blend it out just ever so slightly okay and then we're going to take max soft okra and my Morphe M421 brush and just cut out the crease right there. All right, so that crease is cut. You have to really look at the eyelid, but to me there is a bluish undershade over under that glitter. So what I'm gonna do is take this nice blue color in the James Charles palette and just pack that underneath or on top sorry starting it's more on the bottom part of the eye so I'm going to pack that on and then just bring it upwards slap on some Urban Decay Space Cowboy I'm gonna use my finger for that because it works best Okay, so I have that on the lid. I'm now going to throw Anastasia's Loose Glitter Star Power and slap that on the lid. I'm going to, you know what, take some of the most gloss by the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie and put that on my lid to be the adhesive for my glitter. Definitely more glitter than I wanted, but it's okay. Sometimes you gotta you gotta tweak a look, gotta make it your own. I'm gonna take my Morphe M508 and pack on more of that maroon shade, the James Charles palette. And that's gonna start in the middle and go to the inner corner. And then fan it out towards the edge of the eye, and then take that dark purple and place it on the switch to the Morphe M433 and just start fanning that out. I'm going to take my Morphe M431 and blend this out just a little bit more. I'm using the Morphe 217 angled brush to do my liner. This liner on the face chart is definitely winged out this way and brought in a lot more this way. It's nice and thick. You can't really super see, it looks like she's looking down in the face chart. You can't really see what it, the under eye looks like. 
but it all it looks like there is some of that what's on the lip like a nice like light purple so what I'm gonna do is take my modern renaissance and the one fresco I'm gonna just throw that underneath okay so both eyes are done first I'm gonna do that pink liner goes from the inner corner of the eye and just kind of connects to the liner not quite and then I'm going to take my Morphe M431 take some of the maroon shade and just kind of put that over not over the paint but kind of on top take the Morphe M433 maroon shade and the James Charles kind of just bringing that out and then I'm gonna go back with the super white shade in there with my morphe m421 brush and do the brow bone again I also put liner in my waterline and on the top waterline as well all right so I'm gonna throw on the lashes and I'll be right back we're back so I threw on the lashes. I sprayed my face a little bit because it was a bit dry. Now I'm gonna take my brow gel by Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I'm gonna set my brows again before we start those. I'm gonna go ahead, take some of the Ben Nye water paints again. So what I can do is just kind of take a little bit of the black and just start filling this part in Eric I hope I'm not butchering this I'm sorry that I didn't have silver and glitter but you know maybe I made it you know just tweaked it a little bit so I'm gonna do a little bit of the white now there are the white now let's go ahead and do some purple All right, now let's finish off the face. So it is a very blushy, bronzery look. So I'm gonna take a bunch of my Spring Sheen with my Morphe M527. That doesn't have a mirror. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to start at the cheeks and move up. Just that super bright pink in the James Charles palette, just a little bit. Mix with the Spring Sheen. So lip time. Now let's look at the face chart one more time. Okay, okay, let's put on our beauty mark. So for the lips, I'm mixing some of my, again, you can take any clear gloss. I have the Pigment Cosmetics lip pans right here to use. And I'm just gonna use that Morphe M421 that I've been using. And it's a little darker than what Eric has on his face chart, but I'm also gonna put that dose of colors. Desi X Katie, what's it called? The most, gloss on top. The most, right on top. The face. What do we think? Yes, yeah, it's a bit lighter, but you know. It's okay. Maybe if I take some. There you go. What do we think? Did I do, did I do good? Did I do good, Eric? Let me know. All right. So this is my look. Thank you, Eric, for letting me recreate one of your face charts. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.